This is a video tutorial for the Debbie Tote Bag by Happy Days and this is how you make it. You will need fabric for the outer, fabric for the lining, fabric for the front pocket and fabric for the straps and this is how we make it. We'll start by making the pocket front. Place your pocket front fabrics right sides together. Line up all the sides and the edges and then clip along the curve shape. Once you've clipped it, take it over to the sewing machine and start in there using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So all the way around the curve, joining the two fabrics together. I've sewn all the way around the curve and I've carefully clipped along the curve to give a better finish when we turn it. And now I'm going to turn it the right way. Line up the bottom. And I'm going to be leaving a slight, a slight bit of the lining showing to give a, a piping effect. And when you're happy how it's placed, take it over to the iron and press it. I've pressed it, leaving a slight bit of the lining fabric showing. And now I'm going to top stitch quite close to the side there all the way around to finish the pocket off. Take your front piece of fabric and place it right sides up. So if this was patterned, you'd be looking at the pretty side and this would be the back. Then take your pocket that you've just made and place it on top. Line up the bottom edges and the sides and then clip along there, along there and along the bottom. I've clipped along and now I'm going to tack quite close to the edge. You won't be seeing these stitches in the final make and this is simply to keep everything in place for the next stage. Please note I'm not sewing along the box corner cutouts at the moment. Once you've tacked your pocket into place, take your back piece of fabric and place right sides together on top. And once again, line up all your side edges and your bottom edges and then clip into place. Once you've clipped, you're going to take it over the sewing machine and start in there using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So all the way down to there and stop along the bottom and stop and then back up to the top and stop. We're not sewing the box corners. Once you've sewn all the way around, it's time to box the corners. And to box the corners, you take your fabric and you pinch it together like that and you make sure that the bottom seam and the side seams line up and across there lines up and pop a clip in. On this side where your pocket is make sure that it's all folded nicely and then when you're happy with that Pop a clip in place, pop another one in the middle and then we're going to take it over the sew machine and we're going to use the same quarter of an inch seam allowance, we're going to sew all along there and repeat for this side. I've boxed both corners and now I'm going to turn it the right way round. I've turned it the right way and now I'm going to put it to one side while we work on the lining. 
place your two lining fabrics right sides together line up all the edges and the sides and then clip all the way along there along there and along there once you've clipped it I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and as we did before for the outer use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and start there and sew along to the bottom and stop start there and sew along there and stop and we're leaving a gap here for turning later start again here and stop start again here and sew right to the top and once again we leave in the box corners unsewn I've sewn all the way around and I've remembered to leave a gap at the bottom for turning and now it's time to box the corners as we did before so open up your fabrics ensure that that bottom seam and that side seam line up line up the edges and then pop some clips in and again as we did before use a quarter of an inch seam allowance and sew straight across there and repeat for the other side. I've boxed both corners and I've still got my gap at the bottom and I'm leaving the lining the wrong way around for the moment while we work on the straps. Now we're going to make the handles. You can choose between webbing or I'll show you how to make fabric handles. Place your fabric for your handles right sides down, fold in half and press, open out and then fold this side into that crease that you've just made and press and do the same for this side and press and then fold over once again and press and then we're going to take it to the, to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all along there and all along there it might help to pop a few clips along the open side once you've top stitched both of your straps we're going to attach them to the outer of your bag measure 11 centimeters from here to here and place the strap at 11 centimeters and clip into place and make sure that it's facing downwards and do the same from this edge measure 11 centimeters and clip the other end of the strap into place and again make sure it's facing downwards and not twisted. All you have to do for the back is match up the front, clip into place and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and tack across there, across there, across there and across there. Once you've tacked your handles into place, it's time to pop your outer bag into the lining. Make sure that your handles are pointing down and fold your bag in half. Take your lining that's still turned the wrong way and pop your bag inside Make sure the handles go down as well at the same time. Then open up your bag inside and match up the side seams and pop a couple of clips in 
both sides. I've lined up the side seams and the top edges and I've clipped all the way around. And now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So all the way around, joining the outer to the lining. I've sewn all the way around, joining the outer to the lining. And now all that's left is to turn it the right way by pulling it through the gap I've left at the bottom. I've turned it the right way and now I'm going to fold in the raw edges of the gap, press and then sew all along there, sealing the gap. I've top stitched all the way around the top and that's your Debbie tote bag all finished.